Riggy saying, what mic do you use? Looks pro, sounds good too. How much? All right, now, it's a Super Lux ECO H6A. Uh, and it's not available now, unfortunately, it seems. So if you can find one, it's a great mic. Don't remember if the mic was £30 or whether it was £60 for the mic and 30 for the shock mount. I, I'm not sure. I remember getting a really decent mic for 15 quid. The advantage of starting off with a £10-15 mic is if you want to buy a better one, you haven't really wasted that much. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to say throw away 10-15 quid, but if you've got a 10-15 quid mic that's half decent and you then plump for a £60 mic, let's say, you've got the £15 mic as a second mic or as a backup mic. So it won't go to waste. And I say backups are important because, yeah, I mean, I haven't actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying do as I say, not as I do. I haven't got a backup mic for this one. If this one, if this one goes, yeah, please, please don't go. <laughs> don't go away. I'm not singing. Not doing singing. Actually, I realised after I said that there is a condenser mic in a box upstairs. And I, so I have got a spare, but it won't be this one. And this one's got a special place in my heart because it's the mic I bought in 2007 to start off my internet radio show and off the chart radio, you know, this mic and, and the mixing desk and everything. So I had all this lying around, uh, but talking to Riggy, whose uh, son is getting into streaming, so Riggy was asking me advice about what camera I was using, what mic I was using. If I didn't have all of this already lying around, what would I have done? Would I have actually been okay with this £20 webcam, which you can find out about in this video here, and a £15 mic? So actually, the same shop that I got the steering wheel from, which you can also see if I'm quick enough at changing the <laughs> link over, uh, they had a £15 mic. So I bought it. Actually, I, I was even happier because it rung up on the till as £12. So this is a £12 mic. Uh, so I'm going to try this out and see. You know, I'm probably still going to use this mic on stream, but I have now got a backup. I've got two backups, I guess. I've got the condenser mic upstairs and this one to hand if I need it in an emergency. But also, I just was curious. Would I be able to stream, basically, for 35 quid or 32 quid with this £20 webcam and this £12 mic? So we've got a Trust Scorp PC laptop USB mic, mute button, noise free, 1.5 meter cable on the top it says hashtag building champions. So it starts with lots of positives, so what we've got in the back before, we have a look at that. Distortion free USB microphone for high quality voice chat while gaming. So there we are, we will test this. It also has attractive LED illumination, so we'll, 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 we'll test that as well. But let's have a look at what's in the box first. And, yeah, I mean, ooh, sticker. See, if you have a look at my uh, uh, installing RAM upgrades video, this is a new thing to me, getting stickers with tech. It's like, ooh. Um, and also, let's be honest, uh, Trust have been, well, I was going to start this video, uh, this unboxing part of it anyway, by saying Trust have been making mics like this for centuries. But actually, now as I'm pulling it out of the box, I've realised, no, they, they haven't made a mic like this until this series presumably because I mean I've not seen a trust mic where it's got this sort of <laughs> flexible stuff going on although yeah this is not a gooseneck as you can see that's literally just a spring so I hope I've broken it already by doing that and see if it's a gooseneck so the actual adjustment is there okay but I guess that that being flexible gives it some noise suppression so actually uh, not, not noise suppression in an electronic sense, but like the shock mount that you can see on my uh, my £60 mic, and we're assuming it was £60, I can't remember exactly, but my condenser mic that I'm using on my streams, these are springs as well, so, um, you know, on, on the condenser mic it's got a shock mount, so it's, it's elastic all the way around, the more expensive shock mounts have springs in them, I think, as well. Um, this is a spring made of elastic rather than metal, Whereas on this trust mic, you've got, I feel like metal springs, coated metal springs. They might be plastic, I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing from the way they're behaving, they're metal, but they, they, they could be plastic. Anyway, right, yeah, so that's that, that's it. It's a, it's a mic that kind of, you know, it's pretty sturdy. I can, I can knock that and not knock it over. And it's got a mute button, but of course, I won't be able to tell what it does until plug it in, what else we got, a bit of plastic, right, fine, uh, <laughs> manual, uh, legal and compliance information, so actually no, that's not a manual, that's just 
stuff that probably tells you it doesn't interfere with your TV. Uh, there's some manual there, so it's got, you plug it into a USB port, that's fairly evident, but just in case it's not, on off switch. Okay, right, so that I didn't know about. So on the bottom, there is an on and off switch. Okay, good, good to know. Um, and there's also that microphone read button there, and just shows you how it shows up in sound settings. Fair enough, okay. Um, quick and simple. So let's give it a go then. So it's already switched on in the bottom, but I'm just going to double check. Oop. Yep. And then it's a USB hub handily all the way up here. So. Mm. If I should turn these off now. So it says on the screen there, setting up device, USB microphone, giving it an opportunity to show off with the lights off. Yeah, okay. Well, some of the lights off. And it says, trust gaming microphone is set up and ready to go. So I guess the next thing is seeing what the sound is like. Okay, so the mic you're hearing now is the one I normally use on stream. This one, the condenser mic, the Superlux ECOH6A. And I've got EQs on that because I'm running it through a mixing desk. Whereas this Trust mic, no EQs at all. I've just plugged it straight into the computer, straight into the USB. And I'm going to turn off this one. And then turn on this one. So I, I don't know how this is going to sound. Uh, but I can see the gauges seem to be picking up. You know, it's, it's picking up okay, yeah. Um, I'm not having to shout at it to get a good signal coming through on OBS. Uh, I can press the mute button. Okay, so the only thing I noticed there is that when I actually press that mute button, it is obviously going all the way <laughs> through the microphone. So, you know, it's not going to be a quiet thing. If you're trying to do that on stream, it's going to be a bit of a thud. Again, let's, let's have a listen back and see how it sounds then. I mean, I know audio files might be kind of going and cringing at, that, at this point, but to be honest, that's not bad. As a starting point, that's not bad. And at least, you know, it's it's a clean signal. You can understand every word I'm saying. Uh, it's, you know, it's a little bit tinier, a little bit boxier, sure, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. So it's got me wondering, well, for, for a start, I'm not helping myself by having the mic a million miles away from me. So having the mic closer would be better, would be a fairer comparison. So let's, let's uh, just do some audio tests and see if we can, we can improve the audio that we're getting from it. So a while ago, I found this uh, post in the OBS forum. So if you search for, I haven't, I searched for EQ filters, OBS, Reaper, uh, but uh, Reaper is a, another free audio software. And uh, the first hit here is better voice recordings on the OBS forums. And if you look on there, it gives you a link to download one of the Reaper plugins. Now you could use the Reaper plugin in Reaper itself, um, but it's also allegedly able to work directly in OBS. So I'm gonna give it a try. Right, so first I need to go to this site. It says the gate EQ and compressor effects used in this guide uh, uh, all part of the free rear plugs VST FX suite, which you can download here. Okay, so let's go there. 64 bit I'm on, but you'll need 32 bit if you're on 32 bit, obviously. Uh, what have we got? Okay, so may as well install all of them. Uh, how do I get them into OBS? Okay, so audio input capture two in this case because I'm too lazy to label them. <laughs> Maybe I should rename that. So this is the Trust microphone and audio input capture is just the normal one that I use, the one that's connected to the mixing desk. So we've got trust microphone and apparently after you have installed it, you should just be able to add a filter. So what I did there was right click, trust microphone, filters, and in theory, those ones are meant to be here, VST2 plugin. Okay, let's try it, select a plugin. Oh, okay, well that was, that was straightforward. And we want EQ, so re or rear EQ standalone. Open plugin interface. Okay, so it's it's listening, it's listening to the mic. Now, what I 
can't do is I can't I can't hear that back. So what I'm going to do is monitor it. Can I do that without completely uh, making things very strange for you listening on the video? Let's try monitoring that. Hopefully, I won't deafen anybody. One, One two. two. Okay, right, so you should be able to hear me now, but doubly for some reason. I just realised I was being really daft. There's not two of me, it's just that I can hear myself through my own head and through the microphone. And the problem with monitoring when you're monitoring through the computer is that there'll be a slight time delay. So what I'm doing is I'm right clicking on Trust Microphone, Advanced Audio Properties, Monitor Only. Now you won't need this on when you're using it normally, but I need it on to hear what I'm doing to the EQ. So we're going to go to filters and then re-EQ stands alone again. But this time, open plugin interface and I'll be able to, in theory, oh, right, okay. Uh, so that gives me something I can actually play about with and give myself a bass boost. So that's bass here, definitely. I don't know why I'm still talking into this mic. I should be talking into this mic. Um, Let's pull low down because there's something I'm not liking there. And then we're going to try and get a notch filter. Right. That's taking me too literally. Um, okay, so bandpass filter. What we want is a peak. We're going to use that to explore using a tip of a very good friend of mine, Andy Jones. He taught me something very clever to do when you're trying to find the EQ that you're isolating, then what you do is not necessarily do this because I haven't got a desk that does this, but you try and adjust the EQ and make it sound as bad as possible. And then, so I'm gonna look around for the frequency that makes this sound almost excruciating. I can't really find one. <laughs> it's a cool sound effect. One, two, ta, 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 ta. So I'm trying to find that sort of tinny annoy. There, there it is, I think. Is it about there? About there? About, about there? About there? And then pull that right down. Maybe pull the band width over a bit. And then we're going to move that. Um, so now I'm just going to shape the sound a little bit. What what do I think it needs? It's a little bit less less high, a little bit more low. Keep that notch around about there, and try that. That doesn't sound too unnatural to me. The, the thing that sounds unnatural is the time delay. Uh, but I guess what I should do then is stop monitoring here. So what I've done now is I've turned the monitoring off so I can't actively hear anything through these headphones now, or anything that I'm saying through the headphones. Um, but I'm recording this entirely using those EQ settings that I did with the monitoring on. And I've had a little sneaky listen back to a test recording I did. and. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite frankly astounded. It's, it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, I mean, would you be able to tell the difference? Yes, but is that more to do with the mic being closer to the noise, the, the, the fan noise? Maybe, maybe it's picking up a bit of table noise. Maybe it's still a little bit more boxy, but only a little bit. Um, yeah. Could you get away with this mic? Of course you could. The only downside, of course, is that I can't hear it. So I would prefer my setup because... Oh, I, I meant to just prove as well. Look, I'm, I'm not using the radio mic anymore. I'm using this one. Um, I prefer this setup because I prefer being able to hear myself back through the headphones. They say about radio presenters liking the sound of their own voice. Actually, it's not true in my case. I hate the sound of my own voice. I've just learned to work with it. We, we've got an understanding. Uh, but... Yeah, if you can make do with not hearing the sound of your own voice, that's a kind of radio presenter thing. That's a, you know, possibly a musician thing as well. We like hearing our own voices back and, and if you're singing as well. But lots of streamers don't. Lots of streamers just, you know, talk to the camera. 
you know talk at the microphone in a way it's it's something that's picking up the sound but they're not really too conscious about uh, about the microphone and that that can be good can be bad as well but um yeah i mean it works so yeah this uh, trust 15 pound or rather 12 pound at the moment at uh, scope maybe called it spoke pc and laptop usb mic if you can cope fine with not hearing yourself back in the headphones and let's be honest if you're doing a game stream you might be concentrating on other people speaking and the actual game audio so you might not even notice this may just be a me thing then this is perfectly workable so can you stream with decent audio remember lots of people will tell you and they're right the audio is far more important than the video but can we do it for 32 quid or 35 quid if it was full price yeah yeah i reckon so with some free plugins which will take some you know some some work i mean actually the sound wasn't bad without the eq plugin but they're free if you are willing to take the time to sit down with them and play about with them uh, also feel free to use the settings i used i mean if you get a mic like this settings like that will probably be a good base baseline to start 